Hi legends and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be watching the first episode of Lucifer. I'm trying to do this new thing on my channel where I watch pilot episodes of a bunch of TV shows and just see which ones give me a good little vibe. But we're going to go through this pilot mission together, which is very exciting. But before we get into this, if you want to check out my socials to see what I'm doing on my day to day life, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more exclusive content from me, you can head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Rebecca Rose, and you can find way more content. After an old acquaintance meets a violent fate, the charming Lucifer vows revenge on the perpetrators and makes an unexpected alliance. All right, all right, it's fantasy. That's one of my favorite genres. My dad really liked this show, so I've seen bits and pieces of the show as I've walked past the front room as my dad's been watching it, but I'm really interested to see what this is all about and what his hype around it is. Ooh, isn't this Cage? Yeah, Cage the Elephant, oh my God. What an iconic way to start your show. Wait, they're doing this texting way too fast. In the beginning, the angel Lucifer was cast out of heaven and condemned to rule hell for all eternity until he decided to take a vacation. Oh my god, girl boss, he said, I'm tired. Oh my god, this guy. He's kind of cool, kind of mysterious. I already get the appeal. He's got like the whole little dangling hair piece as well. And that's like, ooh. And they did the whole like diegetic music thing where they can also hear the music in the universe and he controlled the music and he was listening to that song. All that, I always love that. I'm such a sucker for that. Anyone that's watched me for a while knows I bring that up every time I see it in a movie or TV show. I, ooh, scrumptious. <laughs> I love it. So I, I like to punish people too. Oh. Or at least I used to. Lucifer's British. <laughs> you break the law sometimes, don't you? Oh my God, he's kind of hot. Like, what is this? Sometimes. Put my siren on and drive really fast <gasps> for no reason at all. Oh my god, oh my god. Just because I can. So he's like um, the vampires in the Vampire Diaries where he can do that thing where he tri he can like, just by looking at you, he can make you say things that you didn't think you'd say. Oh, the power. Oh, okay, I do get the hype already. I'm only what? Not even two minutes in and I'm already like, ooh. Feels good to get away with something, doesn't it? Yeah. What? Oopsie. <laughs> It's okay, officer. Well, what are you waiting for? Permission? Go and take it. Buy yourself something pretty. You deserve it. <laughs> oh, he's kind of charming. Now that's dangerous. You too, officer. You can turn the music back up. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Fallen. Ha, <laughs> because Lucifer fell. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got an interesting club here. Okay. This soundtrack so far though is slapping. Where have you been? Oh, hold up at the chateau, complaining with a young woman named Faith. It's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Oh, oh, slow mo on the alcohol. Oh, calm down. Your heart rate's going up. Your blood pressure is. Eh, it's bad. Oh. Your return to the underworld has been requested. Oh, right, okay. Let me just uh, check my calendar. Yeah, here it is. Uh, the 7th of never through to the 15th of ain't gonna happen. How does that work? <laughs> oh, that's like such dad humor. Are a mockery of everything divine. Honestly, if your like brother is saying this to you, like your sibling, no one cares. That's when the insults don't matter. What exactly do you think happens when the devil leaves hell? <gasps> is he gonna start dying? All of those tormented and tortured souls. Where do you think they go? Back into the real world. They follow him. Ooh, that's a very interesting like concept plot they've got going where because Lucifer's not where he's supposed to be, that's now going to affect everything else in the underworld because there's always a chain reaction. It's like the butterfly effect. You do one thing and it changes everything. So I wonder as well if this will like pull at him. Like will the underworld call for him to come back because he's destroying the underworld by not being there? Ooh, ooh. You know... He will not be merciful for much longer. You know, for a pilot episode, their CGI so far isn't too bad. That could have been way worse. Hello, Shadowhunters season one. Did I sell my soul to the devil? <laughs> <laughs> that would imply the devil's actually interested in your soul. Because what I'm about to ask is going to be quite difficult for you. Pull yourself together. Oh. That's it. <laughs> If someone told me that it's going to be difficult for me to pull myself together, oh, oh, <laughs> that was violent. I would never recover. What happens now? That's up to you. 
Lucifer really isn't that bad. He's a stand-up guy with his own little bar club thing. He's hustling out here. Oh. Oh my. <gasps> oh my lord. Okay, Delilah, yeah, he was right. She's not gonna get her life together. A girly just- Oh wow, okay, where did this come from? What the hell is happening? Oh, Delilah does not look too good. Delilah does not look alive. She's gonna Delilah there. <laughs> Did you end her life? Is he gonna be like the devil made me do it? Money. Oh. My poor girlie, she was all pumped about getting her life back together and her, now her life's been pulled apart. Oh. Oh, someone has some sharp facial features. Yeah, Chloe, it is your case. But try not to take too much time. It's an easy one. That's our bad guy. Eddie Deacon, he's a low level drug dealer. He's being so rude. He's talking to her like she is an idiot. You look familiar. Have we met before? Yeah, five minutes ago. And I'm asking the questions. Talk to me about your relationship with the victim. Oh my god, we've oh, got like a bubbly guy who's a little bit annoying and grumpy girl. Ah, I love this. No, I just like to play in general, detective. What about you? Mm. <laughs> How does she end up dying in a hailstorm of bullets and you get away without a scratch? I think that's interesting, don't you? The benefits of immortality. I love how he's just not even lying to her one bit. What will your corrupt little organization do about this? <gasps> Snatched her wig! Has anyone else noticed how incredibly jaw-droppingly, loin-sternly beautiful this young woman is and how short, sweaty and altogether fugly this... Fugly? <laughs> oh, fugly. That's... I mean, it is a bit sus though, isn't it? Jimmy Barnes. Remember me? Hey, Jimmy. Man, this is a private event. How did you get Barnes. in here? Yeah, quite a lavish one for a record producer on the album. Oh, because of Delilah. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's very really sus that he's out here marrying this really young, beautiful woman. But we also see it happen way too often. Um, uh, nah, I've got a few things to say about this, but this is not for today's video. Oh, well, yeah, it's very sad. But you know what? She ruined my Wait, was that Joe, Joey Graceffa? Don't tell me Joey Graceffa is in this audience. How did he be an extra? Oh, yeah, no, sad. that's not you know what? <laughs> No, oh, I love that. I thought, look, 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 let me show you. I'll pause on the guy that I thought was Joey Graceffa. I'm so sorry, Joey. It's just like budget Joey Graceffa. I thought that was Joey. It's not my apologies. That's just like 2.0 Joey or something, okay? Sorry. Oh, no, 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 let's be honest here. I mean, you're not marrying this human stain because you're actually in love human with Human stain? God, no. He called him fugly and then a human stain. I'd never show my face in public again if someone called me both of those things a human stain. He may as well have called him a skid mark. He has narcotics, what you say? My name is Lucifer Morningstar. That is just so Lucifer hard. Morningstar. Just and I would also always say my name, like the surname as well, if I was called Lucifer Morningstar. Just, I just hate your music. <laughs> And when I say your music, I mean your music, not the music made by other black people. I mean, without the blues, there'd be no devil's music. What? He said I'm not a racist. Oh, oh. oh. I didn't kill him. Why should I believe Oh, yeah, they're actually so dumb for trying to shoot him whilst he's holding, like, their friend over a railing. Like, if they shoot him, what's going to happen to your friend? He's going to die as well. Oh, my God, they're such dumb pooters. People sometimes kill people with whom they're in love. Their heart's mysterious. So I'm told. Has he never been in love? Are we finding that out as well? That's like a little subliminal plot point they've put in there. What you did take from their film? <gasps> She's in a movie? Film? She's in a film? Of course. Hot tub high school. That's where oh, I know you're from. Oh, that's this why he's kind of seen her half naked. Chapter. Maybe that's why that other guy like talks down to her, the mansplainer from earlier. He's like, oh, she's just a dumb, pretty woman. Hmm. You would just like to tell me things. Hmm. Just, just tell you things. Just confess. Watch it not work on her because she's different. She's not like other girls or other people. What do you desire more than anything else in this life? It's not gonna work on her. This is it. This is your big trick. <gasps> what did I say? It's not gonna work on her. She's not like the others. She just thinks he's stupid. Always wanted to be a cop. Like, like she's kidding. I know she's kidding right now because she's an actress. And be taken seriously when I say to shut up and get in the damn car. I'm the dumb Peter. She's different. Oh, we've got a different girl on our hands. Really Not gonna me. lie, this is kind of giving. Uh, some people might hate me for this, and I'm so sorry. This is giving me like Bella and Edward vibes with how Lucifer can't really persuade Chloe to tell him what she wants. 
like with how Edward couldn't read Bella's mind. Similar kind of vibes. The girl who's different. Please stop talking. Hello. What? Girlie, eyes on the road. Eyes on the road, my girlie. Oh, of course he's not there. Girlie, she was like looking everywhere but the road. Still is. Giving me a heart attack. I don't think you'll let us smoke in here. Oh, she's kind of cute with her little missing teeth. Oh, she's a really cute little kid. Everybody calls me Trixie. That's a hooker's name. What's a hooker? Ask your mother. Oh my. Hello, mean girl. Did you know there's a special I will say, it's kind of concerning that in this school, anyone can just walk in. Like, he just waltzed in and now he can talk to kids. Where is their security? In every school I went to, you could you had to go to reception. Like, you couldn't get past reception unless you signed in, told them who you were and what you were doing. That was even in high school. My high school, you had to, even when I was, like, in the college years, there was a gated entrance and you couldn't get past the doors unless you had a card to get in or you were signing in and approved by reception. And these are kids and you've got this random old man not old man but you got this random guy talking to kids where's the security oh my Ew. that was kind of scary or kind of ugly i can't tell oh it's Hi, this man <gasps> oh oh the layers no wonder there was so much tension exactly which is why you need to be smart about it she is smart. You're the <gasps> Yeah, he's so annoying. Like, I hate the way he patronizes her 24 7. I mean, children, hideous little creatures, terrible, taxing burdens. Yours is fine. I know, nothing to crow about, but nothing to be too embarrassed about. <laughs> That's quite good, isn't it? Are you oh. all aware of. He was like, your child's just average. Why was that ex husband of yours pressuring you to close the case? No reason. Strange. Yes, you are. <gasps> oh my god, he still can't get through to her. She's Did my still. Send you? She's still like Bella Swan. He can't see through her. No, no, but I know that look. I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, it's interesting because you don't look at her that way. <gasps> She's too. What way? With carnal fascination. It's the different girl trope, and I love it so much. People call it cringy, but I think it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you're the devil. Correct. <laughs> 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 I just really enjoy how he never lies about the fact that he is the devil like he outright just says it but obviously no one believes him because it just seems so outrageous right the answer is yes we can take a trip to pound town if we must first pound town we'll tennis window. what is he like 15 <laughs> oh my girl he is down bad for him i made a deal so i'm gonna have to hold up my end of the bargain they're gonna do it right now outside. Are you right now about having sex with her right now i would not want to do that in an office like why why would you want to do this in an office the level of horny you have to be to do it in your office oh my what is going on here oh they're filming a movie i was so confused why a bunch of people were just like filming an accident happening but seeming really happy about it what's your deepest darkest desire when you close your eyes what do you see I'm the president of the United States of America. <laughs> That's kind of lame, man. Why does he think... I don't think actors or actresses need to be in any sort of political thing. Have you been getting my texts? I thought they were breaking you so much <gasps> like a half hour ago. Oh my god, this is Vicky? That's Vicky from the What's Vampire that? Diaries. Oh my goodness, Vicky? If I've got a name wrong, I'm so sorry, but it's like Sam's sister or whatever, whoever she was. She was someone's sister and like she kept dying and somehow coming back. Like my girlie was put through so much hell, but then she was already always alive. Anyway, it's Vicky. She's alive. Ah! So you were sleeping with her then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, ew, ew. Oh my god, Chloe is just so pretty. Her face card would never decline. She has got such good facial structure. She would persuade me way more than Lucifer ever would. Tell me, what do you actually want? You mean what do I desire more than anything else in this life? Yes, mm -hmm. no trick. That really is his one-liner that he keeps pulling out his ass every two minutes of the show. Exactly. There was a case, a shooting on Palmetto Street where a cop was shot, and I saw it differently than pretty much everyone in my department, including my ex. I bet a girl he was right, and they were all just silencing her the soundtrack album for the movie time will tell has reached number 15 on the billboard charts and is still climbing song and record sales oh, wow. <gasps> what the record what? producer then delilah didn't give that watch to the drug dealer who who did who did 
The actor, oh, I'm not connecting the dots, I'm a dumb pooter. Oh, the record producer, it was him. Hello, Jimmy. Because now he's getting all like, the money from her death because her. Yeah, the album sales. <gasps> hey, Jimmy. Oh my! Why is he out here about to shoot like their guitarist? I told you it's fine, I'm immortal. <gasps> oh my! <gasps> oh my! Oh my girly! Oh, oh! You always need to check that they don't have the weapon anymore. Oh, oh, Jim, Jimmy, that was unnecessary. All the drama. <laughs> this is giving Bella when she got bit with the venom. See, it's like when Edward had to go sort out James, but you know, the others actually did it. Oh my God, it's actually giving such Twilight. She's watching it. <gasps> This is such Twilight vibes. Please don't kill me, Lucifer fans, for saying that. Oh my, ooh, ooh. Mandy needs some moisturizer. Well, look who's back. <gasps> See, even the way this is shot is just giving me Twilight vibes. With Bella seeing Edward in the hospital. Ah, are these two gonna end up together? I'm kind of here for Chloe and Lucifer. Jimmy got what he deserved. Yeah, he showed him his unmoisturized face. This is what happens when you don't wear sunscreen, Jimmy. And besides, you know, you were far too interesting to let die. Cause she's it's different. Similar. She's not like the other girls. You're a pariah in the department. I think this could be the start of a beautiful friendship, don't you? This could be the start of something new. Ooh. Oh wait. Bloody hell. Oh, is it his brother again? Yeah. Ooh, man, why can't you be normal and meet on the pavement? <laughs> why you gotta be in the road? I mean, you don't want to start a war. I would love a war. Ooh, and the thunder in the background. Ooh, the vibes, it's impeccable. Oops. Lucy, ooh. <laughs> that kind of makes Lucifer a little bitch. Lucy. I look forward to eating your heart one day. I bet that will happen. Peace. Is that gonna happen? All the drama, if that happens, that's so iconic. He eats his heart one day? That's a bit weird though. Like cannibalism. You're the devil. Yes, I am. And he's not too comfy with that. This is such an interesting plot though that the devil doesn't really want to be the devil anymore. He doesn't want to be defined by what he's supposed to be. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting concept. That was a great pilot episode for a show. Would I continue watching Lucifer is the question I think we're all asking here. Now, I won't lie, it was a really good pilot episode, but I don't think it's something I would continue watching, not because of anything to do with the show, I just don't think it's particularly for me. Like, I really enjoyed the concept, I really enjoyed where it was heading and the plot points they're setting up, but I think, personally, I'm just not all too interested in, like, Lucifer himself. I don't know, I've, I said I like cop shows and I do, but I've kind of grown out of that and I'm not into that right now. That was a very strong pilot though compared to some other pilots I've seen. It wasn't slow at all. There was great pacing, great acting. I don't think there's very, very many bad points about it because even their CGI wasn't crappy. Overall, it's like a 10 out of 10 for Lucifer, the pilot episode. But for me personally, it's just not a continue watching thing for me because it's just not really up my alley. If you're a Lucifer fan, let me know. What do you think of it? Would you recommend you think I should continue it? Let me know in the comments. If I do, it'll be in my own time, but I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say about this show. Anyway, that's enough talking from me and I'll see you next time in one of my movie commentaries re or reactions or another TV show pilot episode review. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Bye, legends.